What's up, golf news? Welcome back to the channel. It's tough to hear. Did it click? <laughs> Stand by, guys. Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ah. Welcome back to Golf Noob, where nothing is out of bounds. Uh, we're back for another episode of No Mulligans, me and Mrs. Golf Noob. Uh, she's got some more questions for me tonight that we're going to answer here on the channel. Uh, decided to change up the background for you guys a little bit. Something a little more appetizing than uh, the back of our cluttered lanai. <laughs> um, tonight, instead of the rapid fire segment, tonight we're really going to dive into things a little bit deeper. Uh, a few less questions, but going to get a little more in-depth on some of my answers. Um, guys, make sure you like, you subscribe, you stick around. We're approaching our first couple of giveaways. Uh, and we're starting to have more and more fun on the channel, getting better and better content up. And uh, more good stuff to come. So guys, make sure you like, you subscribe, and you stick around. Um, so, um, before we get started, big shout out to Fun Golf Club and Wendy Doolin, three-time LPGA Tour winner. Uh, taking two lessons from her now, and she's absolutely transformed my game. So, uh, big shout out to her and uh, her group out there at the Eagles Golf Course uh, in the Tampa Bay area. Um, okay, without further ado, off we go. No mulligans. This is Golf Noob. So, how's the channel coming? It's it's coming along. Um, the growth has been a lot slower in the last couple of weeks than than what we saw when we initially launched. When we initially launched, we were on this rocket ship trajectory, and now we're on a little flatter trajectory. So, think less pit, less pitching wedge and uh, more driver <laughs> as far as the trajectory goes. But still coming along, uh, getting up there. We're getting pretty close to 100 subscribers, so that's exciting. Um, views are down a little bit. Some of that's on me. Um, you know, I'm back to working a little more often than I'd prefer at my day job. Uh, and so the content's being released a little slower now. Uh, so thank you guys for sticking it out with us. Um, we're going to be slowing down some, you know, coming in the future. Just a little less ideas to work with. And again, I'm working so much at my, at my day job. <laughs> Since I'm not getting paid for this job yet, <laughs> uh, so so it's been a bit of a painstaking process. But yeah, the channel's coming along pretty good. Uh, views are still up, uh, subscribers are going way up, and like I said, we're getting close to 100 subscribers, so that's pretty exciting. Yep, yeah, very good stuff. Uh, what's your favorite local golf course? Uh, that's a good one. So uh, we live in the Tampa Bay area. In case you haven't figured that out by now. <laughs> um, well, I think for my money, that it has to be a two-way tie between the Palmer course at Saddlebrook and Heritage Isle. Two-way tie. Love both of those tracks. Uh, really great golf courses. Just absolutely outstanding, both of them. Um, favorite golf note, golf moment so far? Oh boy! <laughs> oh, she hit me below the belt on that one, guys. Boy, that's a tough one. There have been some really great moments here at Golf Noob so far. Um, oh, I think probably my greatest moment, um, the most fun moment uh, so far that sticks out to me uh, was from the first or second week uh, in the channel's existence. I was at the T&D Golf location over there off of, um, man, not the one off Waters Avenue, the other one. The other one. Old, in, in Oldsmar, that's right, that's right, in Oldsmar, uh, and I bumped into two uh, golfers, one was kind of experienced, the other guy was brand new, like he'd been playing golf for 24 hours, and Golf New literally bought him his first ever dozen golf balls, that that, that was pretty cool, for, for me so far, that's, that's definitely been probably the, the, the most fun moment, was, was meeting somebody who's just brand new into the game, just as fresh as fresh can be, you know, 24 hours into it, didn't have balls, didn't have clubs, you know, had literally gone to the driving range with his buddy the day before. I mean, oh God, I was just, that was, that was golf move gold for me. But there've been a lot of really awesome moments, uh, but I'd say, I'd say that's the one that sticks out the most. Um, the other ones that really stick out pretty much are other times where we've met uh, other golf dudes out there in the wild. <laughs> okay, and uh, how do you feel about lessons? I should have seen that one coming, guys. I should have seen that one coming. Um, so I've always been a huge proponent of lessons, uh, especially for beginners and newer players. 
It's the best way to learn the game before you ingrain 25 years of bad habits, like this guy. Uh, that being said, I've kind of been a, a not really been a proponent for lessons for more experienced players who've ingrained 25 years of bad habits. Well, guys, in the last 48 hours, my opinion has completely changed. So, uh, prior to meeting Wendy Doolin over at Fun Golf Club uh, at the Eagles here locally, I've had about nine lessons with four different other pros. Uh, the first three pros were absolutely horrendous. Uh, they were not helpful. They were not friendly. Um, and they, 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 them and their lessons literally did nothing for my game. The last coach I had uh, was a coach I had in Texas. He was pretty decent. Um, he made some improvements in my game. Uh, saw a noticeable difference, but it wasn't night and day. Um, fast forward three years later, we're in Florida. I meet Wendy. And in the last two days that I've spent with Wendy's, I, with Wendy, I, I've learned more in the last 20, what was that, 48 hours? Yeah. In the last 48 hours, I've learned more about golf than I have in the previous 25 years I've been playing this game. So I've com it's completely turned that on its head. Guys, lessons are the key. Okay, but here's, here's, here's the crutch. Okay, here's the, here's the fly in the ointment, if you will. Um, it has to be the right coach for the right player. You can't just get lessons from anybody. You gotta find somebody who wants to help you reach your goals and has a simple way of getting you to do it without cluttering your mind with 10,000 swing thoughts and trying to reach these positions in your backswing and, and trying to reach these angles on camera and, and stuff like that. Guys, that stuff just really doesn't work for the vast majority of players. Um, there's some really analytical players out there, like on tour, you got Bryson DeChambeau, you know, one of the most analytical guys that ever play the game. Yep. And that kind of stuff works for, for him. And it's gonna work for some players. But I think for the vast majority of players, I would go with KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Just keep it simple. And the pro I'm seeing, who's now my full-time coach, uh, that's the way she operates. You know, Wendy is giving me easy to remember stuff. That, so when I'm standing over the ball, I'm not, it, there's no paralysis by analysis. Okay, when I'm standing over the ball, I know exactly what I'm supposed to be thinking, exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, and my, my brain and my swing is pretty free. And, and it's been absolutely life-changing. So guys, find, get lessons, but find the right coach. The right coach, okay? That's gonna be different for every golf noob out there, okay? But finding the right coach, yeah, lessons are absolutely life-changing. Um, I'm hitting the ball better than I ever have in the last 48 hours. Uh, and it's all thanks to my, my coach, Wendy. Um, I mean, I get a little choked up just thinking about it. I mean, golf. It's pretty obviously, obviously a pretty important part of my life. And uh, it, it's been rough these last six months going from a 16 or 17 handicap all the way up to a 25 and, and really struggling with my game. And I don't even know which part of the golf course to aim at anymore, you know? And now I'm hitting the ball better than I've ever been. And my head is freer than it's ever been. There's no swing thoughts, there's no, you know, I just feel like I actually know what I'm supposed to do when I get up to the golf ball. Uh, and so, yeah, just absolute game changer. So guys, wherever you are in the country, try to find a, a pro that's that reaches you on a level. Interview that pro. Make them earn your business. Make them earn your money. Make them earn your trust. Make them earn the job. Interview that pro and make sure they're the right ones for you. But yeah, guys, go out and get lessons. And especially if you can find the right pro, it's, it's life changing. <laughs> All right. Well, you heard it here first, Golf News. Go get some lessons. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Like, subscribe, stick around. And uh, hopefully we got some more on-course filming. We can get knocked out tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get that filmed and up on the channel if everything goes well. Fingers crossed. Uh, and hopefully we'll have that for you guys in the next uh, couple of days. All right, guys. Hit them well. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do your typical later, so I was like, Oh, uh, yeah. We're still recording. Oh, what the